Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible this whole first wave of Godzilla vs. Kong action figures looks from Playmates. It looks absolutely incredible. We have the 12 inch figures, we have the 6 inch figures, and there's still more to come out. So as we find them, as we get them, uh, we'll be reviewing them here. And what do you say, man, that looks cool. What do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. On Super Channel G. God, is this great? Yes, for sure. Friends, let's do Kong with battle axe and I got something to say about this battle axe but you know what let me get us back up again before we zoom on in okay okay so what I want to say is this battle axe looks an awful lot like that's supposed to be one of the pieces of Godzilla's spine doesn't it doesn't that almost look like it's supposed to be what if he like ripped it out of Godzilla and threw it on a big, uh, I don't know what is that, it's supposed to be like a huge tree? I don't know. But, um, looks pretty sick right there. But, let's take a look at this box, a battle damage reveal, and his is on his arm. Looks like some pretty crazy um, flesh torn off. Absolutely incredible, take a look at the box. Cool monarch symbol, I've always liked that monarch symbol. The monster verse. And... I don't think I'm ever going to get over how cool that looks. That looks absolutely incredible. So, take a look at this. Give you a glance again at all the action figures that are going to be in this set. And I'm like, Warbat? Hmm. Warbat. And you know what? Actually, I think there's one that's not on here that I've already seen that was supposed to be a, like a name in Japanese. So this isn't going to be all of them. I don't think it's going to be all of them, actually. So, look how great he looks. He's even got slashes across his chest. And it says the same thing up here about the Titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. The realm of the Titans. But over here, with this awesome Godzilla logo right here. Look at that. It says, Kong with Battle Axe. Feel the mighty strength of Kong as he enters the ultimate battle royale against Godzilla with bone-crushing primal strength and a legendary new weapon fit for a king. It absolutely looks like Kong's version of Stormbreaker. Uh, that's a bit much. <laughs> so, it very well may be, but I doubt he'll summon the Bifrost. So let's cut him out. And what's left? Just, is this the only one? I think I'm gonna have to raise the arms to cut him out. I definitely don't want to cut the action figure. Let's see. Yeah. How am I gonna get in? Here? There we go. Such an awkward angle. Okay. Do you think we can get this out? Yes, we can. Let's draw in this box. Yes, it's just taped in here. Ugh. Trying to take it out without destroying it either. Let's get his little piece of flesh. Ugh, it's taped too. So I'm like, come on. Come to Papa. There we go. That's not how I got that. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna get closer. Let's take a look at our King Kong. Look how great that looks. And okay, it's super dark though, but let me bring the light so you can see. Look how cool that looks. It's great. I'm digging those red eyes too. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking these arms are gonna be really outstanding, poseable. So 
Look, there's the scrapes across his chest. So the head turns this way and this way, but does not go up and down. And look at this. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Now that's articulation. That would have been beautiful if they would have done that for the Godzilla, even though he doesn't need to have crazy um, articulation. But look at that. The wrists turn, my friends. The wrists turn. The elbows turn. The elbows go out. Almost a 90 degree angle. Well, not quite. Not quite almost, but definitely come in and then go out straight. And they, man, there is absolutely wonderful articulation here. Head will at least pivot. And his waist doesn't move, there's, there's no joint there for this. But his legs have wonderful articulation also, and so do his knees. Now there is no ankle articulation, but um, look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? Man, does that look great. So, look at this. That looks awesome. Now let's take a look at this skin right here, or the fur. It looks like it fits right on in here. I guess we're gonna have to kind of slide it on in there first and then put it over here. Look at that. There we go, that looks great. And let's see what we're gonna do about, oh look, this is a closed fist. And this one isn't, uh, it's open right here on the fingers so that we can place this in here. And we haven't taken a, a big look at this, but get this here so we can get it in focus. Doesn't that absolutely look like a, you know, one of the spine pieces from Godzilla? And definitely very reminiscent of Stormbreaker if it was just bent this way. So, let's put this, let's see how hard it is to put this in his hand. Look at that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And if you've seen King Kong Skull Island, man, did he use all sorts of weapons in that movie. He used like a propeller that was kind of like a, almost like a chain mace or whatever. He's like swinging it around. It looked absolutely sick. Look at that. And like his wrist moves so. We can have this pose all sorts of ways. And if we bring Godzilla out here, look at that. We can actually have him holding this. Oops. great that would be. Get this in focus. Taking a couple pictures because it looks phenomenal. Okay. What are your thoughts, friends? I think it looks absolutely unreal. Okay, great. What do you say we move on to our last action figure? Set these aside.